Hey guys, it's your girl Mochi. We are just beginning this trial, so let's just jump right into it, all right? You yeah, actually do it. So we have the tablet. All right, let's get this going. So we have the truth bullets. This is the tablet, which shows the victim's um, name, what their talent was, what her wounds were and everything, okay? We don't have a time of death, but the cause of death was blood loss. And she had notable burns on her eyes and her scalp, which funnily enough, wasn't really discussed that much, but okay. It was a bloody knife, an assault rifle, and it was speckled with blood all over the place. Then there was a bucket that smelled of bleach. And rather than blood all over her hand, she just had some under her nails. So these are our truth bullets that we got. All right, let's get her started. Don't wanna change the difficulty. Let's just begin the class trial. Ooh, guys, I'm so nervous, but I'm so ready. Let's see what happens. I'm curious to see like Let's what, oh, that is so freaky. The class trial. Okay. The objective here is simple. Explain how the murder took place. Mm -hmm. That seems simple. That seems simple in theory. Using evidence you gathered during the investigation, you will argue what you believe happened to the victim. All right. Should you all agree on the right answer, you will be free to leave this place. Okay. Like for real, like y'all really think he's gonna let us go? No. No? <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? <laughs> hey. agree on the wrong answer. Well, you'll find out. Okay, well damn, are we gonna get shocked? Like what's gonna happen to us? It can't be that simple. I feel like this person is goading us into a sense of false sense of security. And then later is going to like throw up like the fact that we can't leave ever. Well, shit. Uh, somebody get me out of here. Uh, um, if this is something we must discuss, I know a good place to start. Here, get me out of here, get me out of here. He's cracking. Here, get me out of 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 here. All right, Grace, calm the fuck down. Damn. She tripping for real. Somebody get me out of here. Where did the jersey come from? Hold the fuck on. Ooh. Grace, by the end of this, girl, you gonna be so zapped. Your hair is not gonna be the same, child. The motherfucker was dead. Oh shit! They fried her brain. They sure the hell did. Calm down. It's only a shock. She won't suffer any permanent side effects. Wait a minute. What you mean permanent side effects, sir? Just a little bit of side effect is bad. What are you trying to say? He's like she won't be debilitated forever. If I wanted to see the brain dead bigger, I'd just turn on the telly. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. <laughs> you said the telly. On that note, please carry on. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, the people running this thing aren't playing around. As you were saying, Wolfgang? Right. The way I see it, the objective of this trap. By the way, can I get like a seat with this thing? I'm just gonna be an onlooker. It's only fair. Uh, you're seriously not going to contribute? Guys, come on, seriously. Don't worry about his contributions. Let's just get this thing going. What am I even supposed to do? Oh yeah, he left. He doesn't even know the evidence. Put your detective hat on, buddy. We're here to solve a mystery. Oh, Jet, you're so optimistic. Yeah, you murdered that dummy chick, right? Not who murdered her, how they murdered her. Did that tablet not explain it? It listed her wounds, yes, but it didn't explain how they were inflicted. Probably because it's so obvious. But, Miss Amber, you didn't even read the tablet. Read that. <laughs> I don't have to! 
Oh, okay. Look at that. The debate's already underway. <laughs> <laughs> For once, Grace, I agree with you. These these guys are clearly confused. I need them to I need to stop them before they arrive at the wrong conclusion. Oh gosh. Do you hear that? That's the sound of a non-stop debate approaching. During non-stop debates, your classmates will speak one after another without interruption. Students may say things that contradict the truth. Oh my God, I can read. And it's your job to determine which statement must be broken in order to progress the trial. Focus your ammo. You have been armed with the truth bullets you gathered during the investigation. Truth bullets that are relevant to the debate will be loaded into your truth cylinder. All right, so this sounds pretty similar, very similar to Danganronpa. Use the mouse to aim your reticle and press the right key to fire. You'll want to aim for words highlighted in gold. Those are the weak spots. A lie or contradiction may be hiding within a weak spot. Carefully compare your classmates' statements to the evidence you have gathered and use the correct truth bullet to destroy the relevant weak spot. If things are flying by too fast, use spacebar to concentrate. This will temporary slow, temporarily slow down time. Speaking of time, be sure not to run out of it. That's an automatic game over. Not that someone of your caliber would ever fail. Anyway, press the F key to revisit these controls whenever you wish. That's all for now. Don't jump to too many conclusions. Ooh, wee! The mystery was never about who killed Kara, but how she died. Right. Is that true? Objection! It's obvious what the murder weapon was. I didn't get a good look at the crime scene, but the body was pretty bloody. And what could have spilt that blood? Besides that big, scary gun! Ah, oh, that's right! There was a gun! You hear that, lawyer man? She agrees! No, that's wrong! The loudest voices in the room aren't always the smartest. Fortunately, an uninformed argument is never difficult to shoot at. So here's my thinking. She died. Is that true? Objection! It's obvious what the murder weapon was. What was it then? I didn't get a good look at the crime scene, but the body was pretty bloody. What okay, okay. That blood? Besides that big scary gun. No, that's wrong. That's not true. Because she was stabbed, girl. The gun was just there. Cassidy, can you stop butting in? You barely investigated the crime scene to begin with. Who? Oh! Hey, sorry, am I interrupting? No. <laughs> Whoa, what? I searched that place from top to bottom. All right, then tell me, how is a fully loaded assault rifle used as the murder weapon? That's easy. It wasn't. Obviously, the shooter reloaded their gun to full capacity. Any smart shooter could tell you that. Right, Desmond. Well, why are you bringing me into this? Except, the victim suffered multiple stab wounds to the torso. If the gun was fired, not only should the body have had bullet wounds, mm -hmm. but there would be shell casings from the fired bullets. Hey, Damon, I, I see why you think people are dumb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Details. <laughs> She's like, they like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cassidy, you are wild, girl. If the gun didn't do that, chicken. What was the actual murder weapon? Yeah, no. I got it. Jesus, this is good. Bloody knife. It's just so blatantly obvious. It was literally right next to the victim's body. <laughs> Why so Cam's razor gotta ruin everything? Oh! <laughs> Interesting. Both the knife and the rifle were present at the crime scene, but only the knife was used. Kind of weird choosing the inferior weapon. Nothing beats the sting of a sharpened blade. 
If the killer didn't use the rifle, why was it at the crime scene? Maybe it came from inside the closet. Don't see why you'd be storing a gun in a janitor's closet. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know. What if it's not even related to the murder? Of course it's related. It's covered in blood. Oh no. Everyone's starting to yell. This debate is getting out of control fast. I need to say something. To reiterate, both the rifle and the knife were next to the victim's body. Yet they opted for the knife. Odd choice. I bet that gun didn't even work. These days, it's all about aesthetics over effectiveness. That's like your opinion, lady. Don't be fucking Don't do rude. If the gun was broken, then the killer would have no reason to bring it with them. And yet, they did. <laughs> Watch it be for the aesthetic. It's easy to assume the killer was the one who did but... Considering the details of the victim's death, I'm inclined to think otherwise. To reiterate, both the rifle and the knife were next to the victim's body. This is true. Yet they opted for the knife. Right. Odd choice. Is it? I bet that gun didn't even work. I mean, I, these days it's all about aesthetics. It did, but that's not the that's case. That's like your opinion, lady. If the gun was broken, then. <laughs> Are you out of it? That has nothing to do Ugh, I need to think it over. Okay, so it is what I was thinking at first. We're next to the victim's body. Yet they opted for the knife. They haven't given us any other options choice of how to play, so I'm just going with what they've given. Me. Didn't even work. These days it's all about aesthetics over effectiveness. That's like your opinion, lady. If the gun was broken, then the king. No, that's wrong. Ooh. Stop that thought right there. If we keep assuming the killer had the gun, we'll end up running in circles. Okay. Convince me, Damon. What? You think the killer was unarmed? No. They were definitely armed with the knife. The reason they didn't use a gun is probably because they never had it to begin with. But then, who did? Easy. The victim. Whoa! The dummy had the gun? If it wasn't the killer, it has to be her. She must have brought it to the closet. She was probably carrying it before the murder, but dropped it when the killer attacked her. Oh, I guess that makes some sense. Complete sense. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Ooh, Wolfgang sure said, let me something. raise, <laughs> let me raise you something else. Huh? The victim was stabbed from the front, meaning she could have seen the killer coming, correct? If so, why didn't she shoot them? A stealth attack. I bet the killer memorized her AI movements. Oh, Lord. Girl, if you don't sit down somewhere, Cassidy. That girl must have been killed before she had the chance to defend herself. Mm. That's not technically true. Right, she had blood under her fingernails. There's evidence of a struggle between the victim and the killer. Specifically, evidence that shows the victim attempted to fight back. This is it. Yep. We found dry blood under the victim's fingernails, which implies she was clawing at her attacker. Correcto mundo. Of course, no explanation is definitive without photo proof of the killer, but I'm confident this is what happened. Si, si, please. I'm confident that that's what happened. As Why well. would you resort to scratching when you're carrying a gun? Did mm. something get in the way of her using it? Wonder if that killer stole it from her. She should have seen or heard him coming from the hallway at the very least. Mm. I think she was in the hallway. That's where the fight happens, right? I think you're getting ahead of 
of yourself. How can we be sure the fight happened there? Maybe the fight started in the hallway, and after it ended, her body was dragged into the closet. If that happened, shouldn't there have been streaks of blood on the floor? Or exactly. In the hallway? Exactly. Drag marks. Can't say I saw any. You would know, wouldn't you, Jet? It, it was merely a jest. No need to take it so seriously. No, it's okay, honey. You 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 were trying to put in your two cents and you just happened to be wrong. Instead of dragging the victim, what if the killer carried her? I don't know why they would want to do that, but it would explain the lack of drag marks. But then wouldn't the killer have been covered in blood? Mm. I it should have gotten everywhere. Those wounds were brutal. A few inches deep, I reckon. Carrying her would have done nothing to stop the blood flow. Hmm. Good point. Right. She was obviously killed in the closet. That's where the blood was. Oh, yes, uh, you're right. I'm so sorry for derailing the conversation. Aww. Moving on. Um, <laughs> he was like, fight. anyway. The victim had the gun, but she was overpowered? That seems to be the assumption here, Diana. If she wanted to, she could have just, you know. What, my dear Kai? Doesn't make much sense, does it? There must be something we're missing. Something that explains how the victim was overpowered. And I know I'm the only one who can figure that out. Oh, really? That's how you feel? All right, all right. I'll talk about agree points. Great, we're adding things now. Jesus. During the last nonstop debate, you would have noticed that some phrases were blue. Bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Those phrases are called agree points. They are the counterpart to weak points. As the name would suggest, if agree point aligns with the evidence you've gathered, you can use your truth bullets to prove it correct. Simply aim your reticle at it and you, as you would a weak spot, and shoot. In your pursuit of the truth, you must be prepared to corroborate your classmates' testimonies. When it would be wise to do so, is for you to figure out. Good luck. I might be making this voice sound more sinister than it needs to be, but it's sinister to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Those that two did have a crazy Ablet. tussle. But she still carried a gun. So why didn't she shoot? I bet that girl didn't even see them coming. Maybe she thought the killer was her friend? I know I wouldn't hurt a friend. Um, she tried clawing their eyes out. Hmm. How did the victim? Hmm. Everyone's got the theory, but who has the actual answer? That salami killer pulled a fast one and knocked the gun out of her hand. By the sounds of it, those two did have a crazy tussle. But she still carried a gun. So why didn't she shoot? Hmm. I bet that girl didn't even see them coming. Maybe she thought the killer was her friend. I know I wouldn't hurt a friend. Okay. All right. So I'm a little confused their eyes out. as to, okay. So we have a bucket, a tablet. I get it. I get it. I oh, shit. Okay. That's a lot we have a bucket, a tablet in the victim's hand. The gun out of her hand. By the sounds of it, those two did have a crazy tussle. Damn, how do I speed this up? Carried a gun. So why didn't she shoot? I bet that girl didn't even see them coming. Maybe she thought the killer was her I think friend. it's the bucket. Oh, I wouldn't hurt a friend. I'm just shooting things now. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh shame. One eternity later. Girl didn't even shoot. I got it. Right? I'm not even gonna tell y'all how long it took me. <laughs> John actually has a point. 
the victim probably couldn't see what was going on. According to the tablet, she suffered chemical burns to the face and eyes. That sort of thing right. effectively blinded her. Exactly. Also, inside the janitor's closet, there was a large empty bottle of bleach. That's probably the chemical that caused the burns. Blinded? With bleach? That's horrible. All that pain. Yet she still managed to fight back. She sure put up a struggle. Without a gun, I guess the next best thing was her hands. So the killer was definitely the one who blinded. This is brutal if this is the guy. I mean, it's already brutal from the 28 stabs, but it's even more brutal from the fact that, like, she literally fought for her life. Indeed. Knowing she had a gun, he blinded her to make her less dangerous. Then, when he pinned her against the door and stabbed her, she tried to retaliate. Until eventually dying from her wounds. Jeez, this is brutal. Right? Couldn't they have toned down the violence? Apparently the not. past is in the past, and we can't change that. All we can do is solve her untimely death, eh? I mean, by the sounds of it, we've already figured it out, right? No. No. Not yet. Seriously? But we've already discussed so much! We know she was armed. We know she was blinded. We figured out how she died. How is this not a closed case? P please understand, I'm proud of everyone's hard work so far. Because of you, we're one step closer to bringing the victim justice. This was never about the dummy. However, we should think of this case like an equation. Knowing how it works is only half the struggle. Right. Now we need to figure out why. why. As in the motive? Mm -hmm. You're on the right track. You speak like we have any information on the killer. The man's a stock image. He doesn't even have a name. What are we supposed to ascertain from that? That he's a non-character? Not every answer will be written down for you. Sometimes actions speak louder than- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold the phone! Uh, Grace? Whoa, 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 what? Whoa. When was Grace back to normal? Right, when did- who, 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 who let Grace get back in the game? Who did it? Put Grace back down. Right now, soybean. Ooh. Huh. Watching you guys try to solve this mystery has been like watching a dumpster catch on fire. Wow, Grace. Jesus. I guess all that smoke must have clouded your vision. Because there's a big ass elephant in this room. Dying? Elephant in the room? That's giving us too much credit. <laughs> so the killer incapacitated that girl. She had a gun, it makes total sense. Problem is, you've yet to explain how he used the bleach. I sort of assumed he spilled it on the victim. Mm. Right. He just tipped the bottle over her. No. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! The stepladder was way more important than we thought. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, I'm gonna let it play out, but I think I think I know exactly what happened. That bottle is where the bleach came from, sure. But I doubt the bottle itself was involved in the murder. When we found it, it was neatly ordered on a shelf near the back of the closet. Right. The gun and knife were just thrown on the floor. So it's weird this weapon was handled so differently. Exactly. Do you think the killer just poured the contents of that bottle into something else? Mm, yes. Sure. Before the actual murder took place, I'd say. And what is this something else? Go on. Explain it before this dumpster turns molten. Girl, you rude, but um. Oh, I didn't even read that. I'm sorry, you guys. I went into my own world. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we got tablet, bucket, victim's hands, and assault rifle. It's bucket. Where'd the bleach go? Uh, in the bucket. In the bucket. Into another bottle. Oh what about God. a container? There were a bunch in the closet. I bet the killer had a secret water gun. Oh my God. So when the victim came in, pow! You literally pointed out the step ladder. Hey, the ink vanishes when the battle's over. Call the fire brigade, Grace. <laughs> he said, call the fire brigade, Grace. The, the killer used the bucket, sweetie. Well, if the original bottle's been emptied, 
Where'd the bleach go? Uh, into another bottle? No. What about a couch? Yes, honey. I got it. Yes. Come on. Ingrid the Stally Young. She's correct. The killer put the chemicals in a bucket. Or, more specifically, the same bucket we found at the crime scene. After all, it reeked of bleach. If the killer didn't use it to transport bleach, what else did they use it for? Personal cleaning? I doubt it. Jeez. Yo, that makes sense. <laughs> a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> okay, cool. So, how'd the killer use that bucket to spill bleach in the victim's eyes? be a fairly heavy bucket so it's unlikely he threw it on her. no he didn't she'd shoot him before he even had the chance use your brain mate Ooh. of course uh, my apologies damn she is she choosing the wolf gang bad man it's a good question how was the killer able to get a hefty bucket of chemicals into the victim's eyes especially with her without her knowing there must be some kind of clue missing here even if he did manage to splash her, the girl should have sustained intense facial burns. However, aside from her eyes, her face was relatively untouched. Well, if you check the tablet, it said she had burns to the scalp, too. Burns to the scalp? How does that work? If the bucket fell from above. Unless those chemicals came from above? Hey, what I say, what I say, mama say, mama sa, mama kusa. Yes. Above. Yes, that's right, above. Did, did the killer somehow suspend the bucket in the air? Maybe there was a mechanism that made it tip over when someone entered the room. Where's this bucket supposed to be again? Above. Above. Which, well, could mean anything. Was the killer hiding above the door frame? No, baby. There's no way they were up there. There's nothing for them to sit or hold on to. Not to mention they could have stabbed her from up there. And if there's no place for the killer to sit, then there's no place for the bucket to sit. Unless you take into account the size difference. Eh? The space above the entrance might not be able to support a person, but it could still support something as small as a bucket. And hmm? that thing supporting the bucket? The door! The killer wanted two things, for the bucket to be above the victim and for it to spill on her when she entered the room. In other words, he needed to balance the bucket but on what? Eh, 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 eh. The doll! The doll. I got it. I don't know how we overlooked this, but I've got it. Twerk, 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 twerk. I I've got it too, honey. I knew it. I knew it early on. Y'all got it? Did y'all get it? Y'all probably got it when I got it, because I definitely got it early on. The killer just balanced the bucket on the door. Yep. Like in those water bucket pranks people film? Si, senor. Exactly. When the victim came into the room, she pushed open the door and caused the bucket to fall on her. Mm-hmm. This would make it so she couldn't shoot back or even get a chance to see her assailant. Child, she didn't even have time. When the bucket hit the ground, it probably rolled away. That it explained why we found it a couple feet from the victim. Dang, whoever wanted to kill her wanted to kill her bad. That is the possibility yes hmm. it sounds like the best conclusion it does there's just one problem mm -hmm. how was the killer able to reach that high oh girl it was the step ladder that we ignored in the beginning it'd be difficult to place something on top of that door well let's use that as our next point of discussion how did the killer set up this trap for once, Cassidy made a very useful observation, but we don't want to give it to her, obviously. <laughs> Poor Cass. Cass out here solving crimes, and we are just not giving her anything.
To balance the bucket on the door, the killer would need to reach pretty high. Was there anything at the crime scene they could have used as a boost? Yeah. If I can answer that, it, it'll add further credibility to my theory. I know what it is. Get the step. This is it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the Sorry, I'd be singing when I probably have used that. Okay. After climbing it, they could position the bucket right on top of the door. Mm hmm. Figures. Okay. My precious step ladder? You think the bad guy used my super duper obvious step ladder? Girl, if you don't get the fuck, although I understand why you being sarcastic right now, I get it. <laughs> Match point, Occam's Razor. Yes, it appears our killer didn't care much for subtlety. At all. No matter how obvious it seems, it's the only answer that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It was the only knickknack of its kind, too. If there's something else that killer could have used, it's escaping me. You and me both. Y'all, if y'all hear any rumbling, it's my neighbors, my upstairs neighbors. They are, um, loud. I see, I see. It makes sense with what we've got so far. But I'm not done yet. I still have one last question for you apes. Apes, bitch? Who an ape? Who she calling an ape? Please just leave us alone. Oh, I'm so tired. Hey, don't be like that. Grace may be loud, but her questions have really helped our discussion. I mean, is she the killer? Anyway, what was the killer doing when that bucket poured onto the girl's head? I think had to have been hiding either around the corner or in in the actual closet those are the only two options that i can see as a possibility he obviously didn't just stand there and observe right i have to agree they must have been hiding somewhere waiting for her to arrive somewhere nearby i'd assume Maybe I got it. Yeah. I've got it. The killer was hiding in the back of the closet. I'm doing good. Hold on. Who's an investigator? Mwah. If he was pressed up against the furthest shelf and facing the entrance, there'd be a diagonal path between him and his victim. Exactly. He had to be hiding over in that corner over there so that when she came in, when it dropped on her, he could just go straight for the kill. I say diagonal because that's the only way you can make a direct charge forward. Also, when the victim entered the room, she would have been standing with her back to the hallway, right outside the killer's range. That's why the stab wounds were only made to her chest. What, what killer game was this? The crime scene we found! Great job, guys! We're actually doing this! Yeah, we, we kind of are! I'm not even mad about it. That was the last mystery, right? We must have put everything together now. Even if it's all fake, I feel really bad for this victim. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for her, too. Poor girl. It's an ugly sight, but she's no victim. What? Huh? Well, technically she is, but... But what, girl? 
Let's be real. The girl was carrying a gun. She could have been trying to defend herself. She probably provoked the killer, and they killed her in self-defense. It's a clear-cut case of the hunter becoming the hunted. That doesn't even make any sense because the killer planned out a murder. Where did you get that from? No. no excuse. What? There's no justifying murder. Killing a woman is the worst thing a man could do. You're emanating a sizable amount of emotional tension. Are you okay? There's no excuse. There never was an excuse. 28 stab wounds. No girl, no person should ever suffer Kara's fate. Ooh. Okay, so obviously we've switched the flip the we flipped the switch on Wolfgang. Wait, who's Kara? The victim, Jet! It was the victim's name! Didn't anyone read the tablet? I, I agree with you, dude, but you don't have to shout out your point. I mean, dude is getting his Phoenix right on right now. He is my god. Oi, what's all this about? We figured out the case. Stop trying to drag it on. Her accent keeps changing. Like, it has Australian, Boston, American, like, this girl is all over the place. No, we're not finished here. Ooh. Huh? There's no murder without a proper motive. We need to discuss why Kara died. But do we have the information for that? I am not going this far for a fictional murder case. We aren't looking for a murderer. We're looking for answers, which we have. Do you turn in a half-finished exam, Winona? An essay without its conclusion? He's a lawyer, you guys. Like, he's not going to go halfway on this. <laughs> they should have known that from the jump, right? This isn't about efficiency. This is about being right. Or do you, a supposed entrepreneur, not value integrity? Ooh, he went for the jugular. Yeah, he's he's not Let's letting. Let's just it. talk about the motive. There's no harm in doing that, right? They're eventually gonna find the dog on murderer and be shocked. Well, what was the motive? Was the killer fighting for their life, or were they going out of their way to murder? Out of their way to murder. Maybe the gun freaked them out. No. If I was in the killer's shoes, I'd definitely be nervous. No. Thing is, while acting out of self-defense is possible. Since when does it look like this? Exactly. Given the severity, I'd liken it to a crime of passion. There we go. Something done on impulse. No, it's more like a a crime that was done on purpose. It was premeditated, absolutely, because of all the steps that they went through to get her to where they could stab her. So I really feel like. Mm. What if they were frightened? A spooky thing might have set them off big time. No. That's wrong. There's no way this was done in self-defense. Wolfgang, you all right? No matter what excuse the killer uses, it doesn't change the fact they have blood on their hands. Yo, bud, you seem a little pressed. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> Silence! I won't allow this! Oh. Hell no! That nicety went straight out the... Wolfgang is a whole new man, you guys. This whole time he's been this meek, very sweet, solemn character. The second we stepped into this room, this man has assumed lawyer position. He is not playing with you guys no more. Wow, things are getting emotional. <laughs> While you've only been using logical arguments to further trial so far, now might be a good time to change your approach. Introducing the pathos mechanic. During nonstop debates, the emotionally charged commentary of your classmates will appear as purple text. These comments are called pathos statements. You can absorb the pathos statements by hovering over them with your reticle and pressing E or LT. The pathos statement will be loaded into your truth cylinder. Find a weak spot as that is directly contradicted by the pathos statement and fire. If successful, you'll make a powerful emotional argument to counter your opponents. Stay on the lookout for pathos statements. While you'll always be able to advance a trial using Uprior logic, emotional arguments can lead some to unique conversations. 
Whoa. Okay. All right. This mechanic sounds interesting. All right. Let's go for it. To kill Kara so easily and without restraint. There is no way to justify this. Take a chill pill, man. <laughs> Wolfgang, really you going in. Me to stay calm? This was the sadistic killing of one of humanity's brightest. We should have oh, wow. made a lot of assumptions about the killer's morals. This could have been self-defense. Either I don't know. You don't even know the damn killer. I mean, the crime true. They left behind. This killer, dead or alive, deserves to be brought to justice. Of okay, Gengar. How can we do it? There's no reason to. He's a lawyer. If you have no proof. Okay, wait. Okay. So says the ultimate liar. Uh, Grace, you you not letting it go. Sorry, you guys. I'm really into this. To kill Kara so easily and without restraint. There is no way to justify this. Take a chill pill, man. You expect me to stay calm? A little bit. This was the sadistic killing of one of humanity's brightest. We shouldn't make a lot of assumptions about the killer's morals. This mm. could have been self-defense. <laughs> you don't even know the damn killer. First of all, this Just this music kind of slapping. This killer, dead or alive, Ooh. Ooh. deserves to be brought to justice. But how can we do that? There's no reason to trust you. I'm sorry, you guys. No proof. So says the ultimate liar. <laughs> Let me check these. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> My bad, you guys. I was trying to figure this out. <laughs> to kill Kara so easily and without respect. I wish I could speed this up. I honestly there do. There is no way to justify this. Take a chill pill, man. Just the crime scene they left behind. This killer, dead or alive, deserves to be brought to justice. But how can we do that? This music is. No No, that's wrong. Ooh, yes. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey. Expertise shouldn't be overlooked. And I'm not about to tell you how long that took me. Not at all. Say what? Wolfgang has spent his life in the courtroom and on the crime scene. He'd understand the criminal mind in ways we can't possibly imagine. He was even emotionally invested in a murder case he'd never seen before. If his lawyer's intuition tells us that the killer was in the wrong, then we have no reason to disagree. We're all ultimates for a reason. We need to trust in talent. Well spoken. If Wolfgang is adamant about the killer's intentions, we should have faith in him. Yeah, Wolfgang's clearly trying his best for us. Exactly. Y'all stop knocking him. Y'all leave Wolfgang alone. Let's trust in the lawyer and his bargain bin buddy. Okay, quit calling me bargain bin buddy. Hey, if it means going home, then you guys convinced me. Right on, Team Wolfgang all the way. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for your support. You can't die on me, Wolfgang. Like, for real, if you end up, like, dying or being a killer, I'm going to shit myself. Well, Eva, do you still disagree? Even if I did, it's not worth pursuing. Does this mean we're done here? Hey, we're disembodied voice. We figured out your stupid case. Now let us leave. <laughs> he said, "Man, y'all are boring." Uh -huh. Oh, you're finally done. Ooh, this piece of trash. In all honesty, I stopped paying attention a long time ago. So this is your game. You better pay the heck attention, okay? What? We only went through this case because of you. Silly me, I have a short attention span. So, just for my own benefit, why don't you summarize the information you've learned? It'll be good practice. Practice? He said the same thing I did. Fine. I'll do as you ask. I'll present the truth. 
We'll present the truth together. <laughs> Let's dig into it. All right, Cassidy. I'm glad that Cassidy is a very much a go-getter type personality. But she'd be wrong. <laughs> All right, time for this closing argument. During closing argument, you must summarize the case from start to finish. Naturally, your medium will be a comic book. Since the class has a relatively good understanding of the case, some parts of the comic are already complete. But it seems your peers have glossed over the smaller details, judging by those gaps in the story. To fill those gaps in, you have been provided a collection of stock panels. Use the WASD keys to navigate your stock and press the space bar to select a panel. Hover your mouse over the relative gap and press the left key to insert the panel. If you wish to undo your selection, simply press the space bar again. Don't forget the Q and E keys. That's how you flip between pages. By the way, gaps will reveal a hint if you hover over them. If you ever need to revisit this information, the control panel is only one F3 key away. Now stand up straight and fix that tie. We've got a case to close. So. So I'm guessing here. Got this panel down. Okay, okay, okay. I know. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, we got the first panel down. First page is done. But like to stab her 28 times, like what happened? this a little bit simpler the victim was Kara Koshkinen the ultimate teacher's aide okay Koshkin right before her death she was wandering around the academy carrying a large assault rifle right. that was probably when our unnamed killer who was armed with a knife spotted her and decided he put her to eternal rest He slid inside that little janitor's closet where he began hatching a deadly scheme. Aye, they needed a way to surprise the victim who was better on. The killer grabbed a bottle of bleach from the closet. Was this a battle royale? Into a bucket. Is Eden's garden a battle royale? That's because they wanted to blind Kara by splashing the bleach in her eyes. Sneaky little bastard. Once again, Grace, what is your accent, baby girl? But to do that, they would need to set a trap and catch the victim by surprise. The killer moved a stepladder behind the closet door and climbed up it to reach the doorframe. 
There, they carefully placed the bucket. That way, when the victim opened the door, the bucket would empty its contents all over her. Mm -hmm. After completing this setup, the killer retreated to the far end of the janitor's closet and waited for the victim's arrival. The killer could have made noise to attract the victim's attention. Either way, the victim tried to open the door. And, um, the bleach splashed all over I wouldn't have gone head first. I don't, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I don't be opening doors like that. I, like y'all can see me. Like head first. I put my arm kind of like, open it and kind of push it out. That bucket would have just fell. And we would have been looking at each other like, for real? <laughs> Oh wow, Jet. Damn, you blinded her and then you just went to stab him. In his fit of rage and cruelty, he stabbed her from the front 28 times. Jesus. While being stabbed, the victim tried to fight back by clawing at the killer. This left the dried blood under her fingernails. However, it didn't deter the killer, and the victim eventually died. At present, we don't have enough information to reveal the killer's true identity, but their actions haven't been forgotten. That is the truth behind this case. Honestly, I really do want to know who Are the killer is. Measly three acts. Poor horse would be beside himself. Oh my god, sir. We tried. Um, who the hell is... No one cares! We've done your end of the bargain. Now let us out already. You see what I mean by her accent keep changing? That is what I promised, isn't it? All right, I'll let you leave this room. <gasps> oh. Ah, but before I do, may I be frank with you all for a second? Yeah, sure. Go this entire time I've been hiding behind a speaker, afraid to show my face. My heart tells me you'll react cruelly to it. However, my head, it raises a compelling argument. What's that? Who cares what others think? Shouldn't I get to have a little fun once in a while? Sir, who are you? Like, y'all, this man is tripping. Yes, let's do away with these silly boundaries already. It's time we meet face to face. Wait, what? Face to... Jeez. What was that all about? Everybody, look over there. Oh, Jesus. Look over where, girl? Who? Oh. Next time on Mochi Plates. What the heck is going on?